Hi, my name is Claire Harvey and I'm an International Mortgage Assistant here at IBF. As IPF, we specialise in brokering uh, mortgages across a range of countries, particularly in France. Today I'm going to talk to you about the timeframes you need to consider when taking out a mortgage in France. So, um, this can vary greatly depending on how long it takes you to procure the documents necessary for your mortgage application. In France, unlike in the UK, they require quite a large amount of supporting documentation for your application. And this means that well, from the time you start to the time you actually submit everything to the bank, um, this can be a delay of potentially weeks. So, gathering everything together as quickly as possible is of the utmost importance. Further to this, from the time that you submit it to the bank, you can be looking at upwards of around 10 days, sometimes even four weeks before you get a decision um, back from the bank and this is highly dependent upon um, things such as season, when you're applying and also by the complexity of the situation. Getting your mortgage offer issued can also cause delays and this is primarily for two main reasons. The first being that the majority of the supplementary documentation needs to be provided to the bank before your mortgage offer can be issued. And this also means that your life insurance and any other policies need to also be provided by that date. The mortgage offer can also cause delays primarily due um, to the fact that any mistakes that you make while filling in or completing the mortgage offer will cause your mortgage offer to be reissued. This means that you need to take the utmost care when completing any forms relating to it and it's always best to seek legal advice when completing any documentation in France. To speed up the process, um, we would highly recommend you go through a French mortgage broker. Normally when you approach a French bank through a mortgage broker, it can speed up your application by weeks. And this is largely because the French mortgage brokers would normally have a long-standing relationship with the banks and are able to get your application looked at a lot quicker. In addition, a good French mortgage broker will also be able to advise you on what the bank will actually require, thereby telling you of any additional documents before the bank will need to request them from you and also be able to streamline the process and make it a lot quicker. Another way in which you can streamline the process is by gaining a agreement in principle. While this is not offered by all of the banks in France, it is a very good thing to have. What this essentially means is that you get approved for the mortgage before you make an offer on a property. Um, in doing this, you gain the confidence of mind that your application with the bank is already, for the most part, done when you approach a property. And in this way, you are able to complete a lot quicker than uh, other individuals who don't have an agreement in principle. Getting your compromis de vente, which is the French sales agreement, drawn up and signed can in fact take the longest out of all the processes that you go through. This is because like with any legal contract, there can be a lot of clauses and things that you need to consider before signing. In France, a uh, sales agreement, so the compromis de vente, is in fact a legally binding agreement and unlike in the UK, you do sign this document before you exchange. Um, this means that it includes a lot of clauses such as uh, such things like a SAFER, which is a French uh, farming right, and many other things that notaires need to do and apply for before you can sign the document. All of these things do take several weeks and can cause delays if you're looking to complete quickly. Another thing about the compromise of that can also cause delays is the fact that it's not only yourself that needs to sign it, but vendors also need to sign it too. So if you're both based outside of France, arranging a time to meet and sign this document is of the utmost importance. In France, there are two major deadlines you need to be aware of, and these are dictated by French law. The first one, which is dictated by the French law SRU, this is relating to your sales agreement or your compromis de vente. In this one, the notaire is required to give you 10 days to consider your purchase before the contract becomes legally binding. What's important to note here is that the cooling off period, as it's called in France, starts from the date that you receive the signed, fully signed version to your house, and it's not the date that you sign it with the notaire's office. Uh, the second cooling off period that you need to consider is dictated by what they call the law Scrivener and this relates to your mortgage offer. In this you have an additional 10 days in which you can contemplate your mortgage offer and decide whether or not you actually agree to take out the loan with the lender indicated. 
Well, in France, most notaires are required to keep your file for at least two months before completion can take place. And this means two months from the date at which the compromis de vente has been signed by all parties. In some cases, you can pay an additional charge to expedite the process, but normally this would mean that the notaire needs to get all the required documents, which can take several weeks within a much shorter time frame and may not always be possible. A typical time frame from the moment you submit your application to the bank to completing your property purchase in France is normally three months. As I've mentioned before, using a French mortgage broker can dramatically expedite this process. For example, we've had a client who recently was able to complete on their property purchase four and a half weeks after we submitted application to the bank. There are many quirks to the buying process in France and of these, um, seasonality is actually quite a common one. So in around the month of August and, and late July, there are a lot of bank holidays in France and also a lot of holidays where staff members are absent. And this means that you won't normally be able to get an appointment at a notary's office around that time. Um, it also means that your, bar, your file will take a lot longer to be seen by the bank and reviewed by a person in charge. So your mortgage offer will also be delayed. So another thing that also might potentially be a quirk of the French mortgage process is the fact that to get a mortgage in France you normally are getting a Euro mortgage and this means you're obtaining a mortgage in a currency that's not normally the same as your own. This means that normally you would either have to transfer your funds via a foreign exchange service or via your bank. An important thing to note about this is that normally it can take up to three days for your funds to clear in a notaire's office. And on top of that, your bank may have a maximum amount you can transfer each day. It's always best to check with your bank at what the maximum amount you can transfer is before attempting to pay your personal contribution. And as you are now aware, there are a number of quirks in the French buying process that can cause significant delays to your application. Um, in this way, using a French mortgage broker can significantly speed up this process. I hope you found this video useful and if you want any more information or a personalised quote, please do visit our website at www.internationalprivatefinance.com.